Jocelyn, I use she, her pronouns, and welcome back to another vlog. I'm a mechanical engineering co-op student, and my current co-op position is at the Elko Engineering Garage, which is right over there. And today I'll show you what a day in my life looks like, as well as answer some of your frequently asked questions with regards to engineering. Before we get started with this day, I just want to mention that this video was made in partnership with the outreach team at the University of Alberta's Faculty of Engineering. Now that I'm editing this video, I realized that I forgot to mention what the co-op program actually is. So co-op is short for cooperative education, and that basically means that you do a combination of classroom-based learning as well as practical work experience. Usually this program takes about five years to complete, but since I'm extending my degree, it'll take me about six years from start to finish. I also forgot to mention what the Elko Engineering Garage actually is. So the Elko Engineering Garage is an academic makerspace at the U of A community. We provide learning resources, equipment access, and introductory training to get makers like yourselves started at the garage. My day starts off with a Google Meets video chat with my supervisor. And in this meeting, we are talking about our video publication process. Part of my job at the Elko Engineering Garage is to try to find unique ways to improve the way we run. One of those ways is to create online videos, including live streams on YouTube. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, the Elko Engineering Garage will have a public YouTube channel for you to watch a workshop tour, some live streams, and other really incredible content. Once it does go public, I'll put the link to that YouTube channel in the description of this video. The second part of my job is very hands-on and education focused. So in these clips, Sam, who is our Makerspace EIT, is teaching us how to use the power sanders. There are two main reasons why we need to learn how to use these tools. The first is so that we can do maintenance on them to make sure that they are working properly in the long run. And the second is so that we can teach other students how to safely operate all the machines in the garage. One of the questions that I get asked often is what are first year classes like? To quickly summarize, first year classes are general science and math courses, but they are really challenging. The reason why first year is hard is because it's a completely new experience. You are starting at a new school, meeting a bunch of new people, and it can all be very overwhelming. Not to mention there's a global pandemic that changes the entire student experience. The classes themselves are difficult because they are fast-paced. There's a lot of assignments, labs, lab assignments, and exams. And there's no time to work on assignments in class. But it is possible for you to get through this degree even if you get poor grades in your first year. It took me a whole two years to figure out the study methods that work best for me. Even now, I'm making tons of adjustments because I find that some things don't work for me anymore. And that's okay. So my advice to you is to really take the time to experiment until you find out what you like and what you don't like. After experimenting, you'll find that certain study methods work best for you, and after a lot of practice, you'll get better and better at studying. As you can see, a lot of my job involves hands-on work with the equipment that we have at the Elko Engineering Garage. So what we do is that we often train on the tools and we train each other. So then we can see if there's any improvements that we can do in terms of our teaching styles. 
The last aspect of my job is indirect access requests. So people often send us their 3D printing files, for instance, and then we run them through our printers and then schedule a curbside pickup time so we can safely interact with our community without having too much in-person contact. We are back at home after a day of work at the Elko Engineering Garage. I absolutely love that place. It's a really cool hands-on learning environment and I would highly recommend going there after the COVID-19 situation has disappeared. But two main questions have been brought to my attention and I would like to address those now. The first question is, will school be online in the fall? And the second question is first year hard. For the first question, I would recommend preparing for an online learning environment. We never know how quickly or slowly the vaccine rollout is going to be, so I would just recommend preparing to learn online. The second question is first year hard. For me, it was really, really difficult, and for a lot of my friends, it was very, very difficult. But there are ways that you can improve your experience so that it's not that difficult. And what I mean is that there are a couple strategies that I've learned that I think would be very beneficial for you going forward into engineering and your first year at the University of Alberta. The first tip that I have would be to research different study methods. Some methods work better for some people and they might not for others. So I'm going to put a playlist of some of my favorite study tips in the description of this video. You can check those out if you're curious and yeah, just do some researching, try things out and see what works best for you. The second tip, as I've already mentioned, is to prepare for an online learning environment. As you can see, my learning setup is really intense. Yours does not have to be as intense as mine, but I would definitely recommend getting some earplugs or noise canceling headphones, especially if you have roommates. I would also recommend getting an external mouse and keyboard. So a keyboard especially and a mouse, it's just way more ergonomic. It's way more comfortable to be sitting at your desk and working off of an external mouse and keyboard. Another recommendation would be a laptop stand so that the screen of your laptop is level with your eyes because hunching over for several hours a day is really, really bad for your back. But those are obviously um, not completely necessary. You can absolutely do an online engineering degree off of just one laptop. But I would recommend, if you do have the funds for it, to invest in some computer equipment so that you're more comfortable at your desk. The third recommendation that I have for your first year and for your studies in general is to really prioritize your health. You cannot go through engineering if you're not sleeping well or eating well or taking care of yourself. You absolutely have to prioritize your well-being before you can invest your time into studying. You really have to focus a lot of your attention on your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. If you don't take care of yourself, you cannot do engineering. And the last thing I want to highlight is the importance of having work-life balance. So for me, I have a physical wall between my office, which is this room, and the room that I sleep in. It's really important to have those barriers between work and relaxation. Otherwise, you won't be able to come back to your work re-energized. So I would recommend prioritizing your hobbies. Make sure you spend time doing the things that you love and spend time with the people you love. I know a lot of people struggle with the work-life balance in engineering because they feel like they don't have enough time to have a life outside of school, but you absolutely do. What I found is that when I play music and when I spend time with the people I love, I am able to go back to my work and be more focused and productive. 
It's just past 5 p.m. and I am going to be running an event this evening at 7 o'clock. This event is called Inspiring Inclusivity in STEM and it's for the student group Diversity in Engineering. Diversity in Engineering is a club where we focus on the retention and inclusion of traditionally underrepresented groups in engineering. International Women's Day was two days ago, and right now it's the University of Alberta's Pride Week. So I just wanted to say happy International Women's Day and happy Pride. And I also wanted to say that bringing the most authentic version of yourself with you every day is the biggest gift you can give to engineering and to everyone around you. Be proud of who you are and all of the different perspectives and ideas that you have. Engineering would not be the same if it weren't for all the diverse people that we have in this school. And I know that it's very male dominated and it's very skewed in one direction. And there is a lot of work to be done in terms of equity, diversity, and inclusion. But as I already mentioned, the biggest gift you can give to engineering is to be yourself. I promise there's a space for you at the school and that you belong here. And I promise that you'll find the people that you love here. It's kind of difficult at first, especially online, not knowing anyone at the school, but you will find your group of friends and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna go rest and prepare for this event, but that's pretty much all that I wanted to say in this video. So thank you so much for joining me on my day. I hope it was educational at least. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.